Okay. Then let's make some bricks. <laughs> Uh, I believe we already called uh, for who who was you were you're gonna read. I'm gonna read. David, awesome. Yep. Um, you've seen the procedure done, I'm sure, I dozens have. of times. I have indeed. Yeah. I know some of the terminology even. <laughs> and what you don't know, you get to make up as you go. What, what could possibly go wrong? I I don't know where we set the. There's no way to know. The instruction yeah. manual. Though. Um, I you had it last yep. over it was at the uh, I knew where I put it. Friend zone for the reader yeah. and table for the builder, please. Friend zone. Yes. Stage please, friend zone. Please, please stage leave friend the zone. room. I'll just leave that. No, the, the stage friend zone. I uh, overshot that stop sign. By quite a bit now. Uh, yeah, you did get the one bus out. I got reverse. I got one bus up. Yeah. Oh yeah, hey, there's a button that makes us go in reverse. For 18 years, we never noticed that button. Sounds good. Yeah. what? Every time. I should, yeah, right? Yeah. You can't avoid it. I'm just going to grab my guitar and I'm going to noodle in the background. We're not even, we're not going to plug me in or anything. I don't think it's necessary. Let's get uh, 25 minutes on the timer. All right. Are we ready to start? I'm ready. You ready? Okay. So we are on step number 21. Uh, I hope in front of you, you should have some sort of large assembly, which has kind of a curvy side on the bottom and a bunch of random bits with studs on the top. Um, I have this. You've got yellow sockets on one side and red sockets on the other. Yes? Okay. I would like you to orient that so that the uh, studs are facing up and the yellow sockets are facing the board. I have done this. Okay, for this step, you will need two plates. They are four by eight. Uh, they are blue or teal. At the base of your right. Four by eight? Uh, yes, four by eight. Two plates, four by eight. Yes, yes. okay. Uh, so, on the top of that assembly that you have, there should be already one four by eight plate kind of on the left side. Can you see that? Okay. So what you're going to do is you're essentially going to cover the, take those two plates. Um, the first one is going to go along the top row of studs. So it's gonna be snugged up to the right side of that four by eight plate you see. Mm -hmm. It's gonna cover all of the teal studs and the top three of the red studs that you're seeing. Okay. okay. All of the teal studs and the top three, so just one row. Just one row of those red studs, yep. And that leaves it hanging off by four? That should leave the last row of four hanging off, I believe. It, or, yeah, sorry. There should be a bit hanging off in the middle, yeah. In the middle? That's, that's well, what I'm seeing here. I'm orienting it vertically. I should be orienting it. You should be orienting it, yeah, sorry, horizontally. Okay. Yeah. So it's, wait, so it's, it's snugged up against the one that's already on, so, so the, it's only touching one row of the red. Yep. And so that, it should be covering three red pips. Okay, and that then, leaves it perfectly aligned with the edges of the existing structure on the top and the right side? That's correct, yeah. It should only be hanging over into the middle a little bit. Cool. There we go. Okay. That would have been bad. All right. Excellent. Glad we're on the same page. Um, and then I want you to do the symmetrical thing with the other plate. All right. I'm done. That is step 21. Yay! <coughs> step 22. For this, you will need two two by one plates and two two by four bricks, all teal. Two two by one plates, two two by four bricks, all teal. Happens. Excellent. Um, what I want you to do is on those plates that you've just placed, uh, the spanning the gap between them on the right side, you're going to place those two two by four bricks. So they should be oriented, you know, north south away from you, kind of vertically, essentially. So one is going to be on the two rightmost studs of 
inner inner rightmost studs of those two plates you just put, and then one right beside it. Okay. This leaves a hole in the middle of the construction of about two by one between the remaining exposed bread pits that look straight down on a weird little green tube thing. Sounds great. Cool. All right, now I want you to take those little two by one tiles and I want you to orient them vertically along the right edge, um, kind of on the, j against those bricks you just placed on the right edge of those tiles. So it'll cover the two middle pips, essentially, of the rightmost <coughs> row. Okay, so leaving the very topmost and bottommost pips of the plates I Of the plates on. you placed in step 21. Yeah. Yep, that is correct. There we go. I have points. Very well. On to step 23. For this, you will need two two by one red plates and just two four by one red plates. Two two by oh okay. The the red plates were all lined up, so I thought I had three <laughs> four by ones and no two by ones. But no, I've I've got it. Somebody two each has done of two by one organization. and four by one. Got yeah. them all. Okay. So, uh, let's see, on the, we'll start with one of the red two by one plates. That is going to go, uh, if we call that bottom plate that you placed back in step 21 a grid, um, where one is at the bottom and four is at the top, and similarly one is at the left and eight is at the right. Okay. 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 So it is going to cover pips, uh, so four across, three up, and five across, three up. So it's going to go horizontally next to one of those bricks. One of the pips is next to the brick. One of the pips is just beside the brick, if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, so starting from the left and moving right, how many pips? So starting from the left and moving right, uh, it's going to be in column four and five. Oh, okay, and it's placed horizontally. Horizontally, yeah. So it's then aligned directly next to the thing covering the pip. Yeah, okay, cool. So yeah, it should have one of its pips right next to a brick and one of the pips not next to the brick. Excellent, yeah. I have done this. All right, do the symmetrical thing with the other two by one. Perfect, I love symmetry. All right, now Just with those... Listen four by ones, um, I want you to, so in line horizontally with those two by ones that you placed, those four by ones are going to go cover one pip of the plates you just placed and three pips of the plate that was there before. All right, so that means there are two bare pips between the plates I'm placing now and the plates I just placed? Correct. Perfect. Okay. Uh, we have ended the giveaway. We're going to begin a new one right now, running until 5.40 a.m. for $7.08. It's the Shadowrun signed rule books. Uh, you're getting a copy of a core of the core rule book for Shadowrun, Shadowrun Sixth World, which is the current game edition, and a copy of our, our special reprint of the Shadowrun First Edition rule book, both signed by the teams at CGL's Gen Con booth, donated to us by CGL by Catalyst Games Lab. Thank you very much to them. You can enter that now for $7.06 or multiples thereof. And I'm pretty sure, like, if you've got a rules dispute, if you've got, like, the signed version of the book, yours, you take precedence. That's yeah, nice. yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> I think that's how it works. Yeah. yeah. All right, and back to the thing. All right. Uh, step 24. For this, you are going to need one 2x4 green plate and three two by four teal bricks. One two by four green plate and three two by four green bricks. I have this. Teal bricks. Teal bricks. Yes. Green plate, teal bricks. Green plate, teal bricks. You got it. I have this. Excellent. Okay, all of these are going to be aligned vertically. So long side facing north south. Um, you're basically going to cover that entire gap between those red bits that you just fit. So you should have a four by eight gap, essentially. Mm -hmm. And it's going to go green plate on the far left, and then the three bricks. All right, 
So the center of the construction is entirely covered in teal bricks, except for on the very left where it's got a green plate. And then the that whole setup is framed by red plates and then a couple of little teal plates at the right side. You got it. Excellent. You've done this? I have done this. Excellent. Step 25. For this step, you're going to need some slightly complicated bricks. So these are smooth uh, and curved on the top, and they have a little step up on the bottom. They are four by three in top-down dimensions. Um, They are teal. One of them should have a green blob on it. Is it okay if it's a gray blob? It could be a gray blob. And the color is bad. I don't know. Is it sitting diagonally on the piece, or is it kind of horizontally towards the edge with the step, or is it kind of vertical? No, we've got a lot of blobs, apparently. There there are three pieces (laughs) with a blob, and each of the blobs is different? Okay, so the blob I have um, looks to be green, but it could be gray. Um, It's kind of diamond-shaped, and it covers about two-thirds of the block, running horizontally like it's it's oblong it runs long way the same way that the brick is long way and it covers about two-thirds of its short dimension um okay height and it's it's aligned toward the edge of the brick that has the step on the underneath correct perfect i have this okay so you've got that one and then you've got the three versions of that brick that are blank yes i have this excellent so what you're going to do, uh, you're going to take all of those um, and how the red tiles that you placed and the teal tiles that you placed create a little shelf. So the step down part is going to go right along the edge of those tiles, the, the, the big tiles that you placed. And the stepped up part is going to be snugged up against the bricks essentially on that upper layer. So, that, so there'll be a lined, um, you know, west east. Yes. So I'm taking the highest part of my construction when it's sat down on its curvy end on the bottom. Yep. And then I'm lining these curvy things up so that they cover that they, elevated part. They don't cover the bricks. They cover the the plates beside the bricks. So they're going to sit right beside the bricks and cover the pips on the outside of those, on the top and bottom of those bricks, if that makes sense. On the north okay, and south. So I'm, uh, I'm going to be using the stepped down part to hit the big plates and the stepped up part to hit the little plates? Correct. Okay, cool. Now okay. I get it. So where you're going to place these, they're essentially going to cover all of the remaining part you see of those plates you placed down back in step 21. Okay. Um, and the one with the blob is going to go in the top left or north west if you'd like okay so it should be facing away from you essentially so you i'm covering only the plates i placed not the vertical plate on the end that was here when i got here correct okay cool part at the bottom is blank and the part at the top has the blob at the top left. Correct. Yes. Awesome. I have done this. Lovely. Step 26. For this step, oh, I see. Yes, more blobs. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Lovely. Um, You're going to need two one by four blue tiles with the pips on the top. Two. Just normal one, one by, by four, four. tealy tiles. Mm-hmm. Yep, I have these. You're going to need two more of those tile, the smoothie, roundy, step up tiles that we were just working with. Um, mm-hmm. One is blank. One has a blob which runs from kind of the two thirds along the stepped down edge up to the top right corner if you are looking at it with the step down edge towards you. Okay, so it's. It starts at the bottom left and runs towards the top right corner? Correct, yeah. Cool, I have this. Lovely. Uh, So you're going to put those 1x4 tiles on the stepped down section of each of those to make them extra stepped down. Uh, So these... Oh, 
these are one by five. I can count. <laughs> I have replaced my one by five plates with one by four plates. Lovely, thank you. So I'm putting them on the stepped down part? The step down part so that it essentially makes the step down more of a step. No, it's uh, Okay, yes. makes a bigger step, not leaves a hollow spot and levels it out. Right. Bigger step. All right, I have done this. Okay, so now you're going to take those two and you're going to cover in line with the other ones that you placed. We're covering the rest of the top of that structure, essentially. All right. Um, so the one with the blob is going to go on the your side of it. Okay. Yeah. I have done this. Lovely. That is step 26. Onwards. For step 27, you will need two one by three teal bricks. Wow. Two one by three teal bricks. I have this. Okay. So those are going to go down on the lower area uh, next to the yellow and red socket pieces. Okay. Um, there should be three exposed pips you can put those on. Yep. So I'm almost entirely encasing both the red and yellow grabby hands. You got it. Yeah. That's what you're right. I have done this. That's what it is. Wonderful. We are making great progress. Onwards to step 28. For this step, you will need three 1x4 teal tiles. Three 1x4 teal tiles. I have this. And you will need two tiles which are 1x... Uh, sorry, one sec. One by three in uh, top down area and have that sort of similar smooth shape with a step up as the big tiles we were working with before. So three, one by three, are they like curved on an edge? Sorry, so three one by four normal tiles, right? Three one by four normal tiles. Yeah. And then you need two of these pieces which are curved on the top, have the step up on the bottom, and are one by three in top-down dimension. Um, oh, ha. I got so distracted by the quarter circle pieces, I completely missed the one by three pieces that you were accurately describing. Now I have these. Lovely. What I would like you to do is line up two of those one by four tiles horizontally, so short ends against each other. I have done this. Okay. I would like you to take another of those one by four tiles and place it over the four central studs of those four of those two tiles you just put together. I have done this. And then I would like you to take the two other bricks and put the raised section over the remaining two pips of each of those tiles. So the step down should go down to the same level as the, the base of those tiles. All right. So now I've got a piece that is curvy on the sides, four exposed pips in the middle. You got it. Excellent, I have done this. Wonderful. I would now like you to find those two, two or those two one by five uh, bricks you had earlier, or tiles you had earlier. I have these. Okay, uh, those are going to go short edge together horizontally, and that is going to be the new base for this little thing that you just made. So put okay. that thing down on top of those. It should cover all of the pips of those two one by fives. It absolutely will as soon as I can get the friggin' thing to sit together. Hmm. There's so many pips and they don't want to line up. <laughs> you you may want to flip the thing you made earlier over and stick them in from underneath. That might be easier. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. I don't know. I am already working on it from underneath. That, I, I, I feel can't like we, do that thing. I feel like we put in a lot of work to just make a box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's a teal blocks with bo blobs on it. It's and got Abby. exciting internal architecture. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I have one of the pieces on. Maybe I can Wonderful. get the other one. I believe in you. Yay, I did it. Okay, thank you. I have done this. Wonderful. Step 30. You are going to need two 1x2 teal tiles. 
two one by two teal tiles. And then you're going to need another two one by two teal tiles that also have pips on the side, which ah, kind of makes it look like they have pips. weird binoculars. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you are going to put those, again, this is going to make a new base layer for that thing. I don't know why we're building top down. Um, <laughs> so it's going to make a new base layer for that thing you just made. Um, the two one by two tiles will be on the outermost. So the outer right and outer left two pips. Okay. And then the two with the binoculars will be just inside of those, which should leave a two pip gap in the bottom, essentially. All right. So it goes normal two by one tile, freaky two by one tile, <laughs> empty space, freaky two by one tile, normal two by one tile. You've got it. Um, and for our purposes, please have the extra pips facing you. Facing me. Yeah. I have done this. Lovely. That is step 30. Yeah. Step 31, uh, you're going to take that whole thing, turn it so the pips are facing left, and you're going to place it down on those two one by three bricks that you put on the structure earlier. So all it should right. line up with the top of the, the thing in almost a pleasing way, except there's gonna be a little step. All right. It is on, it is a slight step down, and it is now completely encasing the grabby hands. Fantastic. That I is step this. 31. Step 32. I will need you to find two two by three teal tiles and one two by four teal tile. I have these. Wonderful. Uh, we are going to put those in the kind of depressed section on the top where it's got the green plate and the blue or and the teal. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take the two two by threes, orient them horizontally. So the long edges are together, and it makes a little four by three square, essentially. Mm -hmm. I have done And this. place those down on the green and teal pips in the depressed section on the top. Aligned so they're fully filling the depressed section? Correct, yes. Oh, I feel so sorry for that section. <laughs> it's not having a good time. It's it's no longer empty, so We're helping we have fill cured its, its depression. <laughs> All right, uh, once you've done that, I would like you to take the two by four tile uh, orient it vertically and place it on the essentially over top of where that green tile used to be. Okay, so it's aligned with the bricks, creating a spot that's level and then leaving bare pips that are still aligned with the newer curved addition I just put on the end? That is correct, yes. Excellent. That is step 32. Step 33. Uh, we're going to need a couple of weird pieces for this. So the first thing is two, two, essentially two by two from the top down, teal tiles that have the same sort of shape as those ones with the step up and the curved top. Except now this. they're two by twos. Okay. You will also need a thing that looks like a green plus with a flag stand sticking out of it. I have this. Wonderful. Uh, I would like you to place the curvy pieces so that the raised sections are covering the pips on that green flag stand. Okay, so... So one on the left, one on the right. And so this. sitting flat, I should have created something that is now completely flat and level on the bottom? Correct, yes. Excellent. I have done this. Okay. Uh, what I would like you to do with that whole thing is place it on the very top of the uh, main assembly. I'm assuming this is the main assembly. Um, <laughs> with the... Now you're your pips, you've essentially got one thing that's two by six, and then it's got two pips north south. So you're gonna line the two by six horizontally, and it's going to cover from the, you've got the the uh, six two by four tiles going across this thing, mm -hmm. right? So you're gonna cover the center four pips of the second two by four from the left. Mm -hmm. This, the center four, or all four of the pips of the third two by four, and the center four pips of the um, fourth two by four. All right, so moving left to right, I've got the slightly lower one pip stretch. Yes. I've got two pips bare of the center portion, the beginning of the new edition, the center of the new edition, the other, other edge of the new edition, and then two blank two by four bricks to the right. I haven't touched 
four pips worth of space from the right end. You haven't touched four pips worth of space from the right end, and you haven't touched the leftmost of the two by fours or the lower little step down section. Excellent. So it is aligned slightly closer to the left side. There we go. That is I correct. Have done this. Wonderful. Moving on to step 34. For step 34, you will need two 2x4 two green tiles. I have these. And you'll need two more of our friends, the big curvy things with the step. Uh, one blank and one with another new and different blob. The third uh, blob. <laughs> is there only one more blob? Hopefully there's I only one more so. blob. I so. This is the only other blob I have. Wonderful. Take that one then. <laughs> okay. I have done this. <laughs> I would like you to take... Um, the two two by four green tiles, I would like you to orient them vertically and place them so that there's a two by four of blank space between them. Okay. Okay. Then you want to put those curvy tiles down onto them so that the raised sections are touching the inner pips of those two by fours and the step sections around the top and bottom of those two by fours, the step downs to make it completely flush along the bottom. The step down section will be flush with the plates. Does that make sense? Oh, um, <laughs> okay, so I've got my two green plates and they do not touch. Correct. They have two pips worth of space between them. Correct. They're oriented vertically. Yes. I've got my weird little curvy dudes. Am I putting their curves so that they make one curve, or am I putting them their curves so that they oppose each other? You're putting their curves so that they make uh, one arch. Okay. Yes. And then? So each of those p big pieces should cover four green pips. Okay, and then I'm putting them on the green plates so that they make one arch with yes. the entire bottom of it having... Two pips of green plate, two pips of empty space, two pips of green plate. Right. So you should essentially, when it's placed, you should have, from left to right, it should go four pips of green. Right. You've got the uh, one by four oriented vertically of green sticking out. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a, oh, a dome. Oh, sticking out. I don't have anything sticking out. Oh, you should have something sticking out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we've determined this issue. That didn't seem right, especially because it was just two pieces sitting next to each other, not attached. Okay. Yeah. So my green plates are... Oriented vertically. Vertically. With two pips worth of gap between them. Two pips worth of gap between them. Okay. Oh, and then I'm and putting the... The plates should each individually join those two green brick. Green okay. Tiles. So now I've got one pip the at the left that's bare, yep. then the curvy plates, which yep. cover one pip of green, empty space, one pip of green, and then one pip that's bare on the right. You've got it. We got there. All right, now, for our purposes, I need the blob facing you. I have done this. Lovely. That is step 34. All right. And I think that's it for time. Yep. I think that was fairly successful. That was great. Yeah. I, I don't think we broke anything. Chat was suggesting perhaps your uh, your mutual hair color allowed you to <laughs> mind meld and synergize well for the, the building process. It, it does help. It's definitely. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was excellent. I have noticed a weird thing where other people with blue hair, usually it's other femme presenting people with blue hair, either really like me and were really friendly, like right off the bat, or really dislike me for like no reason. <laughs> it's it's like with dogs. Like they're either yeah. like, another dog, I wanna be friends, or they're like, another dog in my territory. Oh, I didn't want to say right. it, but that's the same thing I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> you're only you're only allowed to have one blue hair person here. <laughs> this bus ain't big enough for the two of us. <laughs> when you got to zoom how it done well. That. When you come to the, like, okay, get the curvy bit with the blob on top. There are three blobs, and they're all different. Like, oh no.